Hello there, Michelle Short here and I'm delighted to be guest designing with My Favourite Things and today I have a clean and simple scene card to share with you. So I've started off by cutting a piece of Bristol cardstock using the second largest die from the Stitched Rectangle Stacks 2 Dynamics and I have the Drifts and Hills stencil here, just working out where I want that to be and then I can temporarily adhere my cardstock piece to my craft mat and then I can add some post-it tape onto the stencil just to stick that down. And then I'm going to use this shaded lilac distress ink and an ink blending tool. And I can add some distress ink on top of where the stencil piece is to create my sky. So anything that the stencil is covering is going to be my snowbank. And then the lilac is going to be the sky. And I thought it was just quite nice to use lilac for a change instead of blue. And then I can remove that stencil. And as you can see, I've got a nice snowbank there. I'm taking the snow globe die. And I'm just going to temporarily adhere that onto my piece and then I can run that through my die cutting machine. And then as you can see I've got the two bits here. And while I was cutting that snow globe I used the same die to cut out three more pieces of white cardstock. And I'm just going to stick that together. So I'm going to stack one on top of another. Just using some tape runner. And then I can stick the ink blended piece on the top. So I've got them stacked four high of cardstock. And they can pop back in. It's just going to give a little bit of dimension to my card. So I have made an A2 sized card base here from some stone grey cardstock. And I'm adding some adhesive onto the back of my panel here. Making sure that's really well covered. And then I can stick that down, flat down onto my card base. And then I can add some adhesive onto the back of that snow globe piece and pop that in. And it's just going to create some added interest onto my scene here. So now I'm going to take the seal from the Polar Pals stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up with the Black Licorice Hybrid ink. And I'm going to stamp that onto some white cardstock. And I'm using the Mini Misty here so that I can stamp it a couple of times just to get a really nice impression. This ink works really well with Copic markers, so that's what I'm going to be using to colour in my image today. So I like to work from darkest to lightest. So I'm adding in my darkest shade first, which is the W5. And I'm thinking that I want my shadows to be on the left hand side and the light source to be coming from the right. And then I felt that that wasn't quite dark enough for me so I'm going back in with the W7. And then I can blend that back out with the W5. I can then add the W3 to blend that out further. And then I can use the W2. And then finally the W1 to blend that all together. And then I did just go back and add some W3 to make the darker shades a little bit darker. And then blended that back out with the W1. And then for the face there I'm just using some W1 and some W0. And then for the scarf I wanted some lilac shades to match the sky. So I'm going in with the BV one one the bv01 and then the bv triple zero and i'm just blending that out and then i can use the coordinating dynamic to cut that out so just placing that over and then running that through my die cutting machine and then i've got my cute little seal here so next i'm going to work on the sentiment and i have the warmest wishes sentiment from this snow globe sentiment set and i'm using my misty and the misty corners here just to get that sentiment straight and I'm going to stamp it onto some black cardstock. So I'm inking up the stamp with Versamark ink. And then I can just stamp that down. Then I can apply some white embossing powder. And then I can tap off any excess. And then I'm just going to use a dry brush just to get rid of any extra particles and I can heat set that. And I like to heat set from the front and the back. It helps with any warping. 
I'm then going to cut that piece down into a strip. So here I've got my cod base and I'm going to add my seal on top. So I'm going to be adding him on with some foam tape. So I've got lots of foam squares here. I'm just placing them all liberally <laughs> all along the back of the seal. And then I can remove the backings with some tweezers. I'm using foam tape to add in because I thought it'd be quite nice to add a few different layers of dimension. It gives a little bit more interest to a clean and simple card. So then I'm just going to place him down onto the snowbank. And then I've added some foam tape onto the back of my sentiment strip. And using a T-square ruler, I'm just going to place that down just to make sure that that's straight. And then I can add some sparkling clear confetti. And I like to add sequins and confetti and things around this sentiment piece. So just working out where I want those to go. And I've got three different sizes there. And I'm going to use some multimedia mat just to stick them down. So as you can see, I think that snow globe piece works really well. It doesn't detract from the scene at all. It just adds a little bit more dimension to it and a little bit more interest. So then to finish the card off, I'm going to add some clear wink of Stella onto the scarf and the earmuffs. Because of course he needs a sparkly outfit. <laughs> And that's the card finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Links to the products will be in the description bar. Thank you so much for joining me today.